This is an instruction for your lab sheet 2. We will be doing PLC programming. So we have a PLC Siemens logo here. And then this is the main switch. Currently it is in off position. And then we have input switches. There are four of it. And then we have an output lamp, an output buzzer, and also an output fan. First, you need to connect your power plug to the main supply. Second step, connect your PLC to the laptop using the Ethernet cable. Third step, turn on your PLC by pushing the main switch up. Once it is turned on, you will see the date and time on the PLC screen. Fourth step, you want to open the menu selection, press the escape button and you will see this orange screen. So right now, press the arrow button down up to network and then press OK. And you will see an IP address, click OK and it will show the information of the IP address, subnet mask and also gateway. Please write this down. Next, we need to set up the IP address, subnet mask and gateway on the PC or laptop. Go to the network icon, click network settings, go to Ethernet and click change adapter options. You will see Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Right-click Ethernet and click Properties. Find Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Click and click Properties. You will see this window. Please click Use the following IP address. Refer back to the information that you get from your PLC earlier. For the IP address on the PC, the first three numbers must be the same as the first three numbers of your PLC IP address. In my case, the numbers are 192.168.000. And for the last number, please choose a different number from your PLC. In my case, my PLC number is 6. So I am not going to use number 6, I'm going to use number 1. For the subnet mask, once you click it, it will be automatically filled in. And the default gateway, please refer to your PLC gateway. Type in the same number. In my case, the number are 192.168.0.0. Once you're done, click OK and click Close. Now we are going to launch the Logo Soft Comfort software. Find the icon on your desktop and double click. It will launch the software. On your screen, you will have circuit diagram 1. We are not going to use this kind of diagram. I want you to go to File, click New and click Ladder Diagram. Now circuit diagram 2 is showing a ladder diagram. Save as the file first as circuit 1. Now open up the ladder diagram that you want to draw. In this case, this is the ladder diagram that we are going to draw in the software. In the software, you can find the instructions with a lot of components that you can use to develop your ladder diagram. For the start button, we will be using the make contact. So I will click on it, hold and drag it on the screen. Choose I1 input, click OK. And then for the second one, which is a normally closed contact, go to the instruction and click break contact, click and hold and drag and choose a different input in this case choose i2 and click ok and then next one we have an internal relay r1 
go to the relay coil in the instruction click and drag double click the q1 we are not going to use q1 in the block name type m so we will choose m1 flag okay so m1 flag is an internal relay next one we have it normally open contact r1 go back to the make contact click and drag and you have to type in the block name as m1 and you will find the pair which is m1 relay coil click and click ok now connect your component click and drag to where you want to connect it to click and drag click and drag click and drag for the m1 contact for the second connection double click on it and you will see two items i2 and m1 double click on the i2 and it will automatically connect it Next rung, rung number 2, we also have the normally open contact relay. So go back to the instruction, click and drag the make contact. And again in the block name type M and you will see M1 relay coil, click, click OK. Next one, we have an on delay timer. So in the instruction, you have to scroll down a little bit and you will find the timer group. You will see an on delay, click and drag. And now you can connect it together. For the timer, double click to set the time. In our case here, we want it to be 5 seconds. So click the arrow up until 5 and click OK. Next, we want to draw the normally open timer contact and also the lamp which is the output. So, go and find the make contact again. This time, please scroll down all the way down until you find T001 on delay. Click on it and click OK. Next, we have the output. For the output, go and get the relay coil. Click and drag. Double click on it. You will have Q addresses for the real output. So I'm going to use Q1. Click OK. Now connect all your components on the round tree. And now you are done with your ladder diagram. Next, we want to save it first. And then we want to transfer the program to the PLC. Go to the tools and click transfer and choose or click PC to logo. You will see this window. I want you to click the refresh button. And you will see an accessible logo click on it and then click test it will try to connect to the device and if the connection is okay you will see a green line and also a green check mark and then press ok it will continue to connect to the device and if you see this prompt the device is in run mode change to stop click yes and then the device is in stop mode, change to run, click yes. Now you are done with transferring your ladder diagram to your actual PLC circuit. Now we will test the actual PLC circuit. I will press the I1 button and off it. After 5 seconds, the lamp should turn on. And now the lamp is turned on and 
to turn it off, I have to press stop button and release. And we repeat again the test. Press I1, release. After 5 seconds, lamp should turn on. And then use the I2 button to turn it off again. You can also use the software to perform simulation on the ladder diagram. On the diagram editor taskbar, go and find the icon SIM which stands for the simulation and click on it. And now you can look at the bottom, there is I1, I2 and then you have two lamps representing M1 which is the internal relay coil and Q1 which is the real output lamp. Let's test the circuit. Press I1 and release. Timer starts counting and M1 turns on and after 5 seconds, the Q1 also turns on. And if we want to turn off the lamp, we will have to break the current flowing to the M1 internal relay coil. So, go to I2 button and press it and both the M1 and Q1 will be off immediately.